Poetic perfection, God chooses this place. Golgotha, the place of the skull. To die and defeat death on the mortal crown itself. Son of man, can these bones live? The place of the skull. The summit of human decay, yes, but more than that. A void etched into the very composition of the earth. For even the soil of our world groans in waiting for a new creation. Son of man, can these bones live? Two gaping eye sockets behind the two thieves. One on either side of the Christ. These empty casings of humanity degraded by choice or by circumstance, two black holes of magnetic death. Son of man, can these bones live? Death tried to bury him there, on that hill, on that skull, but it buried a seed and that pit was planted right into the brain of death. Dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. One hollow remains agape and empty, but the other releases, willing to be filled by some presence both ancient and fresh. And the earth gathers in, burrowing, protecting, nourishing. The seed and the soil both still waiting for new creation to sprout. Dry bones hear the word of the Lord. The mound of death crumbles into the precipice of life as the earth accepts the creator it knows. The one who breathed it into orbit so long ago. I will make breath enter you, and you will come to life. For all creatures, great and small, Adam and the whole red earth have long been desperate to be freed from these cursed chains, waiting to be made alive and ablaze with the rushing wind of the great summoning breath. And now we, along with creation, live on both sides of life and death. The permanent skinless smile mocking itself with the question, 